Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Suzette throw blanket. The Suzette throw blanket measures approximately 39 inches wide by 57 inches long and is made in this beautiful stripe pattern. I really enjoyed making this pattern as the Suzette stitch is one of my favorites so I hope you enjoy this blanket as well. Let's get started on making the Suzette throw blanket. For today's tutorial, you're going to need three different colors. You're going to need two accent colors, and then you're going to need a main color. So for the main color, I'm going to be using the Premier Basics yarn. This is a number four worsted weight yarn. It is 359 yards, 328 meters. It's a seven ounce skein, or 200 grams and it is 100% acrylic. It's also machine washable and dryable. What I like about this yarn is that it's not only soft, but it's also been tested and approved by different chemicals and substances, so you know it's gonna be nice and soft against that person who has a sensitive skin. And the recommended hook size is a USI 9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And the color that I have here is called cream. You're going to need three skeins of cream. The second color here is called mustard. You're going to need two skeins of mustard. And finally, for this last color, you're going to need one skein of gray and this is that dark gray color. So one skein of the gray, three skeins of the cream, and two skeins of the mustard yellow. You're also going to need a size J6.0 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a slightly larger hook because I wanted to make the blanket a little bit more drapey and open. So I went up a hook size and I'm using a size J10 or six millimeter crochet hook. Let's begin the blanket. Okay, I'm going to be starting with the cream color. And for my throw blanket, I made a chain of 110. If you want to change up the sizing of your blanket, you simply want to make sure that you have an even number of chains in order to make this blanket. So again, my blanket is 110 chains. You can make this in any size that you like, whether you want your throw blanket to be a little bit smaller or if you want it to be wider. As long as you have an even number of chains, you should be good to go. For today's tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing a small sample. So I'm gonna be making a chain of 16. So to make a chain, you're gonna yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Continue making your chain of 110 or your desired width. Okay, so for row number one, we're gonna go ahead and work a single crochet and a double crochet into the second chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count you're gonna count two chains, so one and two. And in that second chain, go ahead and make a single crochet. Insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is your single crochet. To make a double crochet, you're gonna yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your double crochet. You're gonna skip that next stitch, and in the stitch after that, you're gonna work your repeat, which is a single crochet and double crochet into that same chain space. So skip that next stitch, and in the stitch after that, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. That is your single crochet. 
to make a double crochet yarn over your hook insert your hook into that same chain space yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two I'm going to make the repeat one more time so you're going to skip that next chain and in the chain after that make a single crochet and a double crochet okay so you're going to repeat this all the way down until you have two chains remaining when you have two chains remaining I will meet back up with you and show you how to continue on to row two I'm over at the end of row one and I have two chains remaining so in that very last chain you're going to make a single crochet so skip the next chain and in the very last chain go ahead and make a single crochet and this is what your first row is going to look like for row two you're going to make a chain one and turn your work and in that very first single crochet that you made you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet now a few things if you are a absolute beginner and you are having trouble keeping your end straight I highly recommend getting a stitch marker and putting it in the very first stitch worked and in the very last stitch worked of each row and moving your stitch markers up that will help you determine what stitch to go into and make sure that you don't skip a stitch and your ends are not as even so in this case your very first stitch marker is going to be in the top of that single crochet right here okay so next you're going to skip that next stitch which is going to be the double crochet from the previous row and you're going to work your stitches into the next stitch which is going to be the single crochet from the previous row so skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that make a single crochet and a double crochet into that same stitch skip the next stitch which again is that double crochet from the previous row and make a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch which is that single crochet from the previous row repeat this all the way across until you have two stitches remaining and I will show you how to end row two and move on to row three remember you're going to be skipping one stitch working a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch after that okay so I'm over at the end of row two and I have two stitches remaining so I'm going to skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that I'm going to make a single crochet Okay, and here is what two rows looks like so your little single crochet and double crochet clusters are going to offset one another so you have your first row here and your second row is slightly to the right so for my Suzette throw blanket I ended up making four rows of the cream so go ahead and make four rows of the cream and I will show you how to change colors and move on to the next color which is going to be that gray so four rows of the cream and then meet up with me for row four okay so here is what four rows of that cream looks like and again the stitches are going to offset a little bit so to continue with the blanket you're going to go ahead and switch over to that gray color so what I like to do is I get a little bit of a tail and I cut my yarn and then you're going to get that gray color 
And you can change colors however you like, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm going to remove that very last stitch that I made. And I'm going to insert my hook into that last stitch. I want to begin my single crochet and I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to get my new color and I'm going to lay it over my crochet hook and I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail to weave in later and I'm going to pull through with that new color. Then I'm going to get the two ends and I'm going to tighten it a little bit. Chain one, turn, and now you can begin your next row. So for the gray row, I made two rows of the gray. So in that very first stitch, you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next stitch and the stitch after that, make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next stitch, make a single crochet and a double crochet into that next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So let's look at my blanket one more time. So here's where we started. So we started with four rows of that cream, two rows of the gray. We went back to four rows of the white, two rows of the cream, and finally four rows of the white. So you have this nice white and gray or cream and gray section. When we move on to that mustard yellow, we're going to have eight rows of this gold or this mustard color. And then we're going to repeat the color sequence back to that cream and gray. So for the color sequence, you're going to repeat that five times. So you're going to have this section five times. And then when you get to the very end of your blanket, you're going to make sure that you have your blanket match the beginning. So your blanket is going to start and end with this cream and gray section. My throw blanket ended up being 136 rows. So you're just going to repeat row two over and over again, changing the colors as you desire or changing the colors as I mentioned in my blanket sample. So you can use any color that you would like. I bet this will look really pretty in a nice blue color, or if you wanted to make this um, match your home decor, you can do that as well. The color choices are pretty open. You can do whatever you like. And I feel like this is a nice throw blanket. It's a very easy throw blanket. And again, it's one of my favorite stitches. So thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make this Suzette throw blanket. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting. Bye.